Picture this, a colossal creature with a neck that makes up half of its total body length, and a brain the size of a baseball. This is not a creature from science fiction but a real-life giant that once roamed our planet. Its name? Argentinosaurus. Hailing from what is now modern-day Argentina, the Argentinosaurus lived approximately 90 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. This colossal creature is considered one of the largest land animals that ever existed. But it wasn't just its size that was impressive. The Argentinosaurus had a long and flexible neck, which it likely used to reach vegetation that other herbivores could not. Now let's talk about that neck. Imagine a neck so long that it makes up half of the creature's total body length. That's right, half. To support such a long neck, the Argentinosaurus had a series of vertebrae, each one larger than a dinner plate. And at the end of that neck, a small head, housing a brain the size of a baseball. Despite its size, the Argentinosaurus likely had a relatively small brain. But what it lacked in brain size, it made up for in sheer physical presence. In addition to its neck, the Argentinosaurus had a robust body and a long tail. Its legs were pillar-like, supporting the creature's massive weight. But it's not just the size of the Argentinosaurus that's awe-inspiring. Its bones are among the largest ever discovered, making the Argentinosaurus a fascinating subject for paleontologists. The Argentinosaurus was a herbivore, meaning it survived on a diet of plants. Given its enormous size, it's estimated that the Argentinosaurus had to consume about half a ton of food every single day. That's a lot of vegetation. With bones among the largest ever discovered, the Argentinosaurus truly was a giant of the prehistoric world. A testament to the diversity and scale of life on Earth, this dinosaur inspires both awe and curiosity about the creatures that once roamed our planet. Now let's move on to a theropod dinosaur with a distinctive sail-like structure on its back, the Spinosaurus. This dinosaur is a marvel not just for its size but also for its unique adaptations. The Spinosaurus was a colossal creature believed to be even larger than the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex, standing tall with a length of up to 60 feet. The first Spinosaurus fossils were discovered in the early 20th century in Egypt, however these precious remnants were tragically destroyed during the chaos of the Second World War. It's like losing a piece of history, a tangible connection to the world that once was. But, fear not for recent discoveries have shed new light on this fascinating creature. One of the most striking features of the Spinosaurus is its sail. Picture a giant bipedal dinosaur with a long crocodile-like snout lined with conical teeth perfect for catching slippery prey. Now imagine a large sail or fin running down its back. This sail, made of elongated spines covered by skin, could have been used for various purposes regulating body temperature, attracting mates, or even intimidating rivals. The Spinosaurus was not a typical dinosaur. It was likely semi-aquatic, a trait that's rather unusual among the dinosaur community. It's believed to have lived both on land and in water, much like a modern-day crocodile. Its diet would have included aquatic creatures, as evidenced by its conical teeth and elongated, robust jaw, which were perfect for catching and holding on to slippery fish. So, the Spinosaurus was truly a unique specimen among dinosaurs, a giant that could roam both the land and the water. Its size, combined with its unique adaptations, made it a formidable predator in its environment, ruling the rivers and the lands of the Cretaceous period. This unique and terrifying dinosaur was a true behemoth of its time. From land to water, we now delve into the world of the Megalodon, one of the largest sharks ever known. This oceanic titan roamed the seas from around 23 million to 3.6 million years ago. The megalodon was a creature of such colossal proportions that it makes the great white shark, its closest modern relative, look like a minnow in comparison. Imagine, if you will, a shark that could reach lengths of up to 59 feet, that's roughly the size of a school bus, its weight, a staggering 60 tons, that's about 10 times the weight of an adult African elephant, and its teeth? They were the stuff of nightmares, each one measuring up to a foot in length. These monstrous choppers were not just for show, they were efficient tools designed for one purpose, to rip and tear through flesh. The megalodon was undoubtedly the apex predator of its time, feasting on everything from fish to whales. But despite its size and power, the megalodon was not immune to extinction. The exact reason for its disappearance remains a subject of ongoing debate among scientists. Some argue that a drastic change in sea levels and temperatures during the Pliocene epoch could have caused a significant reduction in the megalodon's food supply, leading to its extinction. Others suggest that the rise of new predatory species might have outcompeted the megalodon for food. 
Whatever the cause, the fact remains that the seas of today are void of this once dominant predator. The Megalodon was an ocean giant, the likes of which we may never see again. But its legacy lives on, not just in the fossil record, but also in our collective imagination, reminding us of a time when giants ruled the deep. Back on land we encounter the Paraceratherium, potentially one of the largest terrestrial animals ever. This colossal creature roamed the Earth between 34 and 23 million years ago. Towering over the landscape, it had an impressive shoulder height greater than 5.5 meters. To put that into perspective, that's taller than an adult male giraffe. Its hefty weight of around 18 metric tons was supported by thick pillar-like legs, perfectly designed to carry such an immense load. The Paraceratherium's massive size came with an equally giant appetite. As a herbivore, it needed to consume a vast amount of vegetation to sustain its enormous body. Just like the modern-day elephant, this behemoth was a browser, meaning it ate leaves, shoots, and possibly even fruit from high tree branches. Its long, downward-curving neck and towering height would have allowed it to reach foliage that other animals could not, giving it an advantage in the competition for food. The Paraceratherium's skull was particularly fascinating. It had a long, horse-like head, but instead of a trunk, it had a highly muscular upper lip, somewhat like a modern rhinoceros. This would have been useful for pulling leaves from trees. But what truly set the Paraceratherium apart was its teeth. It had large, flat molars, perfect for grinding up tough plant matter, while its incisors were reduced, suggesting the animal didn't rely on them for feeding. Despite its intimidating size, the Paraceratherium was likely a gentle giant, spending much of its time peacefully grazing. However, its sheer size would have made it a formidable opponent to any potential predator. These herbivorous giants were truly a testament to the incredible diversity of life on our planet. Their existence reminds us of the Earth's capacity to support life in all its fascinating variations, from the smallest microorganism to the towering Paraceratherium. Finally, we come to the present day, where the largest animals to ever exist still roam, the whales. These majestic creatures, both awe-inspiring and humbling, are the titans of our time. They command respect, not just for their immense size, but also for their intelligence and social complexity. Let's dive into the world of the sperm whale named for the waxy substance, spermaceti, found in their heads. These deep-sea divers are the largest toothed predators on Earth. They can reach lengths of up to 60 feet with males significantly larger than females. Their brains are five times the size of ours, making them one of the most intelligent creatures in the ocean. Sperm whales inhabit every ocean, delving into the abyss to hunt squid, their primary food source. They're known for their characteristic block-shaped heads and their haunting, eerie songs that echo in the ocean's depths. Now let's shift our focus to the undisputed heavyweight champion of the animal kingdom, the blue whale. These gargantuan creatures can grow up to 100 feet long and weigh as much as 200 tons. That's equivalent to about 33 elephants. Blue whales reside in all the world's oceans except the Arctic, feeding primarily on tiny shrimp-like animals called krill. During feeding season, a single blue whale consumes about 4 tons of krill a day. Despite their colossal size, both the sperm and blue whales have a gentle and docile nature. They're both listed as endangered species, their populations severely impacted by whaling activities in the past centuries. Today they face new threats such as ship collisions, entanglement in fishing gear, and the ever-growing problem of ocean pollution. These marine mammals hold the title of the largest animals to ever exist, proving that giants still walk, or rather, swim among us. They serve as a powerful reminder of our responsibility to protect the planet and its incredible inhabitants. After all, we share this world with these giants, and it's up to us to ensure they continue to thrive for generations to come.